Civil Engineering Education in India began on the 19th of October 1847 with the establishment of an engineering college at Roorkee to train civil engineers. This was the only engineering institution in Asia. It was a need-based development initiated for training manpower for the construction of the Upper Ganges Canal which became a shining example of civil engineering. In 1854, it was renamed after its founder as the Thomason College of Civil Engineering. In 1949, it became the first technical university of India known as the University of Roorkee. The first Vice-Chancellor, Mr. C. A. Hart, received the charter from the then Governor of the United Province and the first Chancellor of the University, Sri H. P. Modi, in the presence of the Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and the Chief Minister of the United Province, Sri Govind Vallabh Pant. Roorkee University also celebrated a hundred years of the existence of the Engineering College in 1949. Today, this institution is over 150 years old. The University of Roorkee was given the title of an Indian Institute of Technology on September 21, 2001 by the Government of India. During the course of its great intellectual journey of more than 150 years, the department has produced a galaxy of eminent engineers who've made great contributions in planning and execution of important civil engineering projects in India and abroad. The Civil Engineering Department of IIT Roorkee initially set up as a College of Engineering at Roorkee or the Thomason College of Civil Engineering holds a place of pride amongst all the engineering institutions in India. The Civil Engineering Department of uh, IIT Roorkee is the oldest amongst the departments in the institute and was established in 1847 and currently offers a four-year undergraduate program leading to a degree of Bachelor of Technology in Civil Engineering. It also offers 11 specializations in Master of Technology programs and has facilities for carrying out research leading to PhD degree in almost all the major areas of Civil Engineering. The academic and research activities of the department are managed by six major specializations. This is the only IIT in the country which has taken lead in two nationally coordinated projects running with the support uh, uh, of AICT uh, in the area of urban transport and environment interaction. Uh, the cabinet of Delhi government has approved the involvement of center of transportation engineering for quality control and all kind of roads works leading to uh, including the development of new technology. The alumni of the departments have played a vital role in the development of infrastructure uh, in the country as well as abroad and the services have been nationally and internationally acknowledged and recognized through various honors and awards such as Padam Vibhushan, Padam Bhushan, Padam Shri, Shantisru Bhatnagar Award, Jawaharlal Nehru Birth Centenary Awards, Norman Gold Medal Award of the American Society of Civil Engineering, President of India Prizes and Medals of Institution of Engineers, IRC Medals and Prizes, IPEN Award of International Association of Hydraulic Engineers and uh, even Arjuna Award. There are many other uh, notable professional achievements of the faculty and indeed uh, it is recognized to be the best department and the largest department of civil engineering uh, in the country. This civil engineering department of IIT Roorkee has been headed by some of the most famous personalities in the field of civil engineering. In addition to its high quality UG program, the department also realized quite early during 50s the importance of keeping pace with the latest developments in engineering education. Each year, 75 students are admitted to B.Tech course and more than 100 to M.Tech courses. PhD programs are available in almost all 11 specializations and fellowships are given by MHRD, 
CSIR, DST, etc. At present, 80 PhD scholars are working. Faculty has completed 328 PhD theses, published 3664 research papers and 28 books so far. The Environmental Engineering Division has been added to the Department of Civil Engineering in 1955. MTech has been started in 1957. The faculty of this uh, section has been actively involved in Ganga Action Plan and the Yamuna Action Plan. The consultancy work in all of the environmental field has been taken up by the faculty. One of our faculty members had been in the Antarctica mission also. The Environmental Engineering section has completed more than 480 Masters, 60 PhDs and about 450 research papers have been published. Innovations like the MEMO filter, anaerobic wastewater disposal through UASB, SAT technology, carousel systems and the defluoridation of water are some of the achievements of this section. Stress has been on need-based research. A number of research projects sponsored by the DST, AICTE, MOEE, and CPCB have been completed. The aerobic hybrid wastewater treatment system consists of a primary treatment unit, an aeration tank containing a biofilm carrier and a secondary settling tank. The wastewater is treated using a combination of suspended and fixed biomass. This technology needs a smaller area as compared to conventional methods. The amount of sludge produced is also much less. This surveying section was established in 1958. We have four major specialization in the section. These specializations are land surveying and GPS surveying, photogrammetric engineering, remote sensing, data analysis and GIS analysis. This section has unique infrastructural facilities for survey camps, the only such facilities available in India. The Geomatic Section Museum houses some of the rare instruments that were used in the construction of the Ganges Canal in 1848. GPS has found large application in surveying and mapping, mainly due to its ease of use and high accuracy in mapping. GPS works on the basis of signals received from GPS satellites and provides three-dimensional coordinates of any point on the Earth's surface. These coordinates are digitally recorded, processed through software and used for terrain mapping and analysis. The total station combines the capabilities of a theodolite, a level and an EDM. For taking observations, the total station is kept at a ground point and a prism at another ground point. The prism is bisected through the telescope tube and the total station is made operational. The total station computes slope distance, angle, height difference, etc. Being fully automatic, the personal recording error is eliminated. These are the geotechnical engineering laboratories and in geotechnical engineering, we are mainly concerned with the analysis and design of foundations for a variety of structures, analysis and design of underground structures and also understanding the mechanical response of geomaterials like soils, rocks and rock masses. The Geotechnical Department has three undergraduate courses and master's courses in Geotechnical Engineering. There is also a diversification in rock mechanics. The section has produced 58 PhDs. The current areas of research include dynamic and static soil structure interaction, prediction of ground subsidence due to shallow underground terraining, reinforced rock mechanics as applied to river valley projects and problem of landslides. The faculty provides consultancy services to government, semi-government and private sectors. They have also developed codes of practice for foundation designs and underground structures. This large-sized direct shear test equipment has been designed and fabricated in this section as part of one PhD program. The equipment is being used for studying the behavior of jointed rock masses having different orientations and interlocking conditions under direct shear. The estimation of strength parameters for different conditions enable the analysis of rock or soil slopes for their stability. Modeled jointed rock material, coarse grain debris and granular soil can be tested in this setup. A specialization in hydraulic engineering started with the object of imparting higher education 
and carrying out research and consultancy work in all aspects of hydraulic engineering. This hydraulic engineering laboratory, which is probably the biggest amongst educational institutions of the country, has got a huge space of about 3,500 square meters. This laboratory has got six flumes, 25 instructional experimental setups, six open circuit wind tunnels, one closed circuit wind tunnel, one big river model tray and a huge space for construction of physical models of hydraulic structures such as dams, spillways, etc. Important studies include the mathematical modeling of the Kosi River for the prediction of its morphology, score around the bridge pier, alluvial streams and reservoir sedimentation. This section has completed more than 400 doctoral and master's degrees, published more than 500 research papers and authored a dozen textbooks. The acoustic Doppler velocimeter is a high precision instrument that measures all the three components of velocity of water flow and currents. The ADV is being utilized for measuring flow patterns around bridge piers and the turbulent structure in laboratory channels carrying high concentration sediment laden flows. The civil engineering department, structural engineering section, has been first in many things. Starting with the postgraduate studies for the first time, well over around 100 PhD theses have already been completed in the frontier areas of research on the global stage. This section has different laboratories like the ESA lab, the concrete testing lab, a workshop, a chemical lab and a large test hall. The section has published 10 books and developed 175 software packages. The faculty here has made significant contributions in the design and execution of civil engineering projects. The UTM is a universal testing machine which can be used for conducting several tests. The 200 ton server control completely computerized UTM which costs nearly 3 crore rupees is being further added as the latest world class testing facility in the section. In this test hall we have a series of reaction frames of different capacities and sizes starting from 50 tons to 200 ton reaction frames. The test hall also has a 1000 ton capacity compression testing machine for testing large samples. The beams, columns, joints of different reaction frames can be moved in all directions. One dozen research projects are currently in progress in this test hall. The transportation engineering section is a pioneer in initiating the postgraduate program in India in 1957 in the area of highway traffic and transportation engineering. It provides wide range of courses at undergraduate level in civil engineering. This section has produced 42 PhDs and over 350 ME MTech theses in the field of highway traffic and transportation engineering. More than 600 research papers have been published in national and international journals and conferences held in India and abroad. The faculty of the section has developed 17 software packages, 20 codes and published 5 books. The research programs are supported by a wide cross-section of government agencies. The faculty provides consultancy to public as well as private concerns. This equipment is used to find out the absolute viscosity of bitumen. This equipment is available only at IIT Roorkee in India. Amongst the rheological properties, the viscosity function is one of the most important characteristics of the bituminous binders because of their complex response under different conditions. Viscosity measurements over a wide range of temperatures and shear rates will help in predicting the behavior of the bituminous binder and hence decide the suitability for flexible pavements. With this equipment, it is possible to find the absolute viscosity accurately.